Welcome to Morning Devotions with Pastor Lee. We're in the Gospel of John. We're starting today in the third chapter. Now there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a member of the Jewish ruling council. He came to Jesus at night and said, Rabbi, we know you are a teacher who has come from God, for no one could perform the miraculous signs you are doing if God were not with him. In reply, Jesus declared, I tell you the truth, no one can see the kingdom of God unless he is born again. How can a man be born when he is old, Nicodemus asked. Surely he cannot enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born. Jesus answered, I tell you the truth, no one can enter the kingdom of God unless he is born of water and the spirit. Flesh give birth to flesh, but the spirit gives birth to spirit. You should not be surprised at my saying, you must be born again. The wind blows wherever it pleases. You hear its sound, but you cannot tell where it comes from or where it is going. So it is with everyone born of the spirit. Jesus tells Nicodemus, this religious leader, you must be born again. When we hear those phrases, we, we often think of Pentecostal churches uh, who talk about uh, being baptized in the Holy Spirit. Jesus is talking about being born again, just having the Spirit of God living in us. That does happen in baptism. It happens in the baptism of adults. It happens in the baptism of children. When God's Holy Spirit uses God's Word to create faith, the Holy Spirit works when? and where he wants. We point people to Jesus. We tell people about Jesus' good works and good news, but it's the Holy Spirit who changes hearts. May he change the hearts of those around us who are far from Jesus. Would you join me for a word of prayer? Heavenly Father, we ask your blessing upon our family and friends, neighbors and coworkers who do not know you, who do not follow you, who do not believe in you. We pray, Lord, that you would use us to share with them your good and perfect word and that your Holy Spirit would use that word to create life-saving faith. In your mighty and holy name we pray, amen. God's blessings and have a great day.